previously on Love Game. We started with three bad girls and 13 guys. Joey, you seem a little weeny. I don't like your body. It has come to our attention that someone may have a girlfriend at home. I'll be honest, I'm involved, but I don't have a girlfriend. Get the f out of the house. Get the f out of my house. I decided to stop cussing. Kyle doesn't curse. I f you. What are you doing, man? Dante's kind of in a zone, an angry zone. I'm not okay with the violence. What about Michael? You know, if you're gonna just be sitting over there not coming and talking to us, that's not gonna work here. Yeah. I think Tony's attractive, but I really don't feel like he's being aggressive enough. <laughs> Devin continued to win every challenge, but he wasn't winning one of our hearts. Dan was still playing the field. I feel like I've really made a connection with each one of you girls. You need to know what you want. And then the rules changed. A surface connection has to be eliminated. One of you ladies is going to have to go home as well. What? Amber, you made a connection with Joe, but like you don't really have anyone else to choose from at this point. Now Amber's gone. Joe, the party's over. We're down to two girls and four guys. Final four, baby. This is so sick. Yeah, oh, it's final yeah. four. It's time to find out who will win the love game. It's strange not having Amber in the house, but I have to focus on the task at hand. Hi. I've been hanging out with Nick and Tim pretty much the entire time we've been here. Now it's time to really start thinking about the decision I have to make. Someone's feelings are definitely getting hurt. How you guys doing? Oh, hey, Brett. How you What's doing? What's up, Brett? New oh. You guys having fun? Yeah. Oh, we're having a blast. Congratulations, guys, for making it to the final four. I got some great dates planned for you in the next couple of days. It's not about challenges anymore. It's very serious. It's about the very valuable solo dates. These are going to be your final dates. You have to make them count. So tomorrow, Kendra, you're going to be going out with Cosmo. Sarah, you're going to be going out with Tim. And the ladies are going to meet you at a very special location. Justin and Nick, don't worry, guys. Your time's coming, too. Girls, at the end of your dates, you will need to decide who you want to be with. Unfortunately, the next time I see you, two more are going to have to be eliminated. I've got one person that I have to beat out to win Sarah's heart, and uh, we get to start our life together. I know who my competition is. It's down to me and Cosmo. Now he's a threat, and now he's got to go. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Have a good night. All right, take care. All right. I'm going to go outside. I'm actually going to walk with you. <laughs> I want to be with Sarah. I feel the only thing I need to gain from Sarah is her trust, because we already have an emotional, a sexual, and a mental connection. Let's get real. What is it about Tim? A lot of the same things that I like about you, I like about Tim. When it's just me and him, I feel like he's really sincere. He's such a gentleman. You don't like that answer. I just see a lot of different things than you see, I guess. I don't see him being your guy. You need a guy that can stand up. You need a guy that can control you a little bit. You need a guy that needs a little slap once in a while and can handle a fight. I guess we'll finish our conversation later, though. Hi, Sparkles. What up, Sparkles? How are you? Fabulous. Nick has nothing nice to say about Tim. I have a strong connection with Tim, and Nick's not going to change that. From day one, Nick and I have been battling it out. I feel like me and Nick are neck and neck, but I think Sarah really knows she wants something genuine and that's going to last. She's going to make the right decision. Those two are going to be going, like right now, he went outside to see what's going on. They're going to be going at it. I mean, yeah, me and Justin are going at it for you, but it's not like I think that. It's a, it's they a whole got the, other vibe. They got that aggression. I like the fact that Justin and Matt can be civilized to each other. It's very different from the relationship that Nick and Tim have. I like them for separate reasons, and they're gonna ride it out to see what happens. Good night, boys. Mm. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye. It's just you and me, Kendra. Mm. No, Amber. <laughs> Wait, do I stink? Oh. <laughs> Final date today. This is Tim's big chance. I hope that on our date I can show Sarah that I am sincere and just let her know I'm here for her and I'll do whatever it takes to be with her. I see Ferraris. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. 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 Hey guys, as 
should know by now, a bad girl likes nothing but the best. And when it comes to transportation, it's no different. So today, we're gonna hop in these sick cars and cruise around Beverly Hills. Yes! Sorry guys, but we'll be driving. <laughs> That'll be even hotter. Yeah. <laughs> you guys All right, guys. Come on, let's go. Ah! How you doing? Come on in. Lambo, nice and nice. Hey, Tim, I'll catch you later, bro. Let's roll, let's roll, let's rock, let's rock. is hot, but Kendra and Cosmo in a Lamborghini, Woo! smoking hot, man. Yeah, beep the horns, let's hear it. I'm driving a Lamborghini and it is amazing. Matt is like a kid. This is my girl, Kendra. You better <laughs> believe it. Woo! You know, this is my final date. And yes, I do want to know more about Kendra's personal life. But when you're in a Lamborghini, all you're thinking about is speed, baby. Ah! What else? I think it's what I'd rather be doing right now than sitting in a Ferrari with the sexiest woman ever. Hit it, hit it. Ah! Tim seems like he's having a good time. I can tell he wants to drive, but there's no way he's getting in the driver's seat. So corny. Jesus. To a restaurant to spend a little bit more intimate time together. He's really, really excited, of course, and we're having a really good time. So, it's like our last like, big day. Oh, right? Yeah. I can't believe this. Went by so fast. Are you a, a kids kind of person? Do you want to have a family and yeah. have kids? Eventually, not right now. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Now, how old is your mother? She's young. Yeah. She had me when she was 24. Uh, I have a really cool mom. I love to meet her. Matt's asking me a lot about my family, so I think he's learned his lesson from our last elimination. Do you know anything about Kendra's family? We haven't gotten to that conversation. Do you know her twin sister's name? No. Are you gonna see your sister? Yeah. Kristen? Yeah. I got her name now. Yeah. I got her name. Are you hungry? Yes, are you? I really want to talk to Tim about really personal things. I'm hoping that he can open up to me. So you do everything. All that stuff you were telling me before that your company does, like you know how to do all of it. You do like. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have to. How did you learn how to do all that? Starting out, I winged it. You know, mm -mm. learned as I went. You know. So someone would say, "I want you to do this job," and you'd be like, "All right, sure, whatever," and figure it out. Yeah. Uh-uh. So, yeah. My strategy with Sarah is I want her to know that I'm a really mature, responsible, young adult who has worked hard for everything. Tim really has his act together. He doesn't party all the time. And I have to say, it's kind of appealing. We just got to have a good time on our dates tomorrow. We have to be that much better than them as far as conversation, as far as personal enjoyment, as far as just kissing, everything. Like, we have to step our game up twice as hard. I know that Tim gets to go on his date before me, but I think that's good. I'd rather have my date fresh in Sarah's mind. I don't know how I would take it. She was like, uh, I want to be with Cosmo. I think I'll be pissed off. Dog, how do you think I'm gonna Dude, I think Tim's a complete tool. Like, complete tool. Whatever tool you want. <laughs> Probably a ratchet, because he only has one size, even though he says he has many. <laughs> ratchet. Cosmo, what would Cosmo be? Cosmo would be like, um... A chainsaw, dude. It goes off randomly, like it gets out of control. <laughs> It'll hurt you on accident. <laughs> it breaks everything, and yeah. it's loud as Yeah, that's definitely Cosmo. <laughs> yeah. Justin, he's a great guy, and I'm not a bad guy myself. No, you're not, you're not at all. <laughs> so, I mean, it's gonna be a hard decision for you. I, I just hope I'm the guy in the end. I have a lot of fun with Kendra, and I definitely hope that she sees the sensitive side, and not just the crazy side in me, and she makes the right decision. For me, second place is last, you know, and you deserve a first place winner all the time, <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> in the midst of all of his jokes, Matt is very serious sometimes, and I like to see that come out of him. I'm glad I got to spend the day with you. I'm so happy and thankful. This Definitely is a moment I'll never forget, for sure. Cheers to uh, where we are. <laughs> yes, in Kendra. Oh, Cheers to Kendra. You. Thank you. Go, girl. <laughs> I have two guys, but at the end, I can only pick one. I really don't want to do this. Why should I leave with you instead of Nick? You know, Nick's just young. I mean, I'm young, too, but like. Says the 22-year-old. I know. Our, our mindsets are different, you know? I just think that you're ready for more. I think it's gonna be a constant fight with him. With us, I think we would actually have a mature relationship with one another. 
if you're with me. You ain't gonna worry about me going to the park four times a week. You know, you don't have to worry about me out chasing girls. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about that crap. I really think Tim's being sincere. If he can continue to talk a good game and back it up, I might end up choosing him. You're in like a really good mood all of a sudden. This is the last opportunity I have to show Sarah that I really want to be with her. I just want her to know that I'm there for her and I'll do whatever I can. And if she chooses me, she won't be disappointed. Oh, look at you. Oh, this is too cute. This is like my last alone time that I get to spend with you. When I think of having a relationship with Tim, I can really picture it. Tim and I have amazing chemistry. <laughs> Matt brings a certain energy that I haven't had in a very long time. He's opened my mind to a lot of new things, and I'm happy to have met him. I thought since we had such a great active day, cruising in the Lambo, yeah. it's our time to relax. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna tell you, like, right off, crazy guy that jumps in the pool naked, never thought. Yeah? Never thought. I'm very honored to have met someone like you, and that is mm. coming from the heart, for sure. Matt's being very romantic, and I get little butterflies in my stomach. I'm gonna show you a little talent I have. I'm gonna let you lay down. Okay. And close your eyes, and let me do all the work. You relax real yeah. quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me know if I'm going too hard. Matt has very nice hands. His massage is excellent. I'm used to having sex. I want to have sex. I need to have sex. And I will. Matt? Yeah? You can go under the shirt if you want. Dude. I want to be with her. For me to find a true connection is like crazy, bro. To find like a chick I really vibe with and really can see myself with. I'm stressed out because I want this girl. If she doesn't pick me, I will be hurt, bro. Me and Kendra have a real connection. If I don't win Kendra's heart, I will be crushed. When I look into Sarah's eyes, she knows I'm right for her. I'm a jealous guy, so at any time, I'm going to be a little jealous that there's another man out with my girl. I feel like I definitely have to top Tim's date when I go out with Sarah. I just really like, hope she looks into her heart. I know I could treat her 10 times better than Tim. I really hope that you choose me. I'm so nervous. I don't want you to Why leave me. Why are you nervous? Because I don't want to be this last time that I get to actually like kiss on you. What I want. I hope you make the right decision. Whatever it is, do whatever it makes you happy. Okay. And if it's with me, fantastic. I don't think it could have went really any better other than her just telling me right there she wanted to be with me. Tim definitely pulled it off today. He left me with a really good last impression. I love spending time with Kendra, but tonight and what we did was a special night for me and her. And I think that uh, it's gonna help me out in the end. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the last time I'm gonna see Matt before I make my final decision, and he's definitely left me with some good things to think about. <sighs> I had so much fun today, dude. <laughs> Me and her got to connect on a level today. That yeah. Was Definitely an awesome, like, final date, man. Fun as hell, too, man. So sick. I just want to throw out there in front of Nick that, oh, I had the best day. And we had such an intimate time together. It was nice. Yeah. Definitely an awesome date, man. Tim and Sarah going out together, of course, pisses me off. It was so fun. I was just doing whatever I can to rub it in Nick's face that I had the best day ever. You're so jealous. I can tell Nick is after today, I really hope that I win. I know. I had a great 
day with Matt yesterday, so Justin really has to prove himself because this is the last time I'm going to see him. This is my final date with Kendra. I need her to really understand where I'm coming from and even get a better understanding of her. My date ended really well with Tim, so I'm interested to see if Nick can impress me that much as well. Getting this last date is extremely important. Sarah needs to realize that I'm here for her. Hi, guys. Just so you know, bad girls love adrenaline rushes. And every bad girl loves to do naughty things, like get her hair messy. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna be honest, the thing that worries me is that you party a lot. I just think that you're ready for more. I think it's gonna be a constant fight with him. With us, I think we would actually have a mature relationship with one another. You don't have to worry about me out chasing girls. You don't have to worry about that crap. Every time someone has cheated on me, it's been because they were out partying, wasted, and made a bad decision. It doesn't change the fact that they cheated on me. Nick is really young, and he likes to party a lot. So with him living on the other side of the country, it's gonna be really hard for me to trust him. I'll gain your trust. I'm not worried about that. Once I have it, I won't lose it. Do you see where we are? No, I'm like looking around. <laughs> Whoa, we're about to get on the biplane. I'm definitely a little nervous. I'm scared for my life, actually. <laughs> oh, look. Hello. Hello. Welcome to, welcome to my biplane. Nice to meet you. James, I'm your pilot. Are you insured? Around the time. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not paid up. <laughs> you know, I may not look like it, but I'm definitely a daredevil, and I'll try anything once. Oh, Do you see that plane? That's going to be so awesome, baby. We're hands down excited. It's exactly something that Sarah and I would love to do. I've never done anything like this before, and as excited as I am, I'm also really, really nervous. <laughs> Adashu. We're about to get in this small <laughs> ass plane. Oh, no. <laughs> this is about to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Dude, the whole controversy between me, Nick, and Sarah is like huge right now. Yeah, you know I mean, I told her, I was like, kid ain't got a job. He has no money. He lives with his mom. If you want to come, you know, be with me, yeah. you don't have to stay at my mom's house. <laughs> my final date with Sarah was 100% perfect. So let them go out and have their time, and hopefully he'll slip up and mess up on his date. You think Justin's going to be a problem to you or what? Um, we don't have the hate that you and Nick have, you know what I'm saying? So whatever happens, we're gonna be cool, I feel. But I'm trying to like see who she's vibing more. We're totally different people. And it's whatever she's looking for, you know? I'm a little worried right now with Kendra because Justin's a great guy, but in the end, I definitely hope Kendra picks me. I'm ready to end this game. Yeah, right? on this plane. It's a gorgeous day in Santa Monica. We have the beach, we have the mountains, we have the beautiful houses, and I'm with Justin, and we have a really good time. This is the greatest experience of my life. It's a dream come true. Nick is having a blast on this date. Just seeing him having so much fun really makes me happy. I'm with the most beautiful girl on the most beautiful day. Nothing can get better than this. I haven't had a bad time with you yet. I haven't had fun in our fight. You did how, not have fun on the up that was. You're fixing my breath. You had Hell fun when yeah. I slapped the taste out of your mouth? Hell yeah. <laughs> so you excited? 
for that, elimination. Yeah, if I were you, I would be. I mean, just like there are some things with Tim that I'm not sure about, like there are some things with you that I'm not really sure about. Just trust, because I don't... I mean, that and like, it makes me nervous. Trust is a really big thing for me, and Nick's telling me I can trust him, but I'm not sure if I should or not. How do you feel about the last elimination? I'm like nervous. Honestly, I'm not really tripping on it. I just want you. Like, I've made it this far with you. Thank I've got to know you to like on a whole nother level to the point where I, yeah, I don't want to lose you. I don't know. I'm nervous. I protect myself because it's not really, there's no in the middle for me, you know? It's kind of like I protect myself or I give everything. Honestly, for me, I would just give you my all. Like, in everything I do, that's what I do. After this date, I could see myself with Justin. He's totally different than Matt, but Justin is definitely someone that compliments my style. Like, Cosmo, he's great. He's a great guy, but I don't see you guys lasting. Like, yeah, if you guys gave it a try, I'll give it a month, maybe two. But, like, I feel like we have something special that we can turn into something even better. I didn't expect to catch films like this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy I have, because, like, now that I have this here with you, I want to keep developing it. I really do like you. <laughs> What if I don't pick either of you? And that's gonna suck, but it's not like we can do anything about it. What if I pick both of you? What if I wanted you to share me with Tim? There's no way in hell I could do that. You wouldn't even think about it? I wouldn't share one guy in this world with him. You mean you wouldn't share me with one guy in the world? Yeah. See, I'm not always that smooth. Mm. Sarah and I are getting past the dating. I feel like we're past just a minor connection. If Sarah picks me, I'm going to do everything I can to create a relationship. I want to make you smile all the time. Do you make me smile. Then don't make it stop. <laughs> Sarah, this has been a crazy road so far. Remember, even if we're not together, I'll still be here for you as a friend, Tim. They're ready. Who'd you get flowers from? Matt. How was the airplane? Amazing. We like laid like this and the planes were like Nyum! landing right over us. So cute. Dude, how was it, man? <laughs> Oh, it was amazing. Come on, seriously, tell me what the heck did you do. It was cool. cool. We're in airplanes, like actual like private jets, dude. We're just in a plane. Flying. In an airplane, dog. I'm a member of the Mile High Club now. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Mile Club. I thought Nick was afraid of heights. If I don't win Sarah's heart, I'm gonna be really upset. I really, really hope that me and her can grow into something you know, that could last years and years to come. Get ready for elimination. Get ready to be eliminated. Dude, I still like the Lambo. I like our date better. We got to talk to yeah. him all the time. I like the Lambo. Cosmo can't do like I do. I hold it down. I'm setting up for a romantic jacuzzi evening with Kendra, and all I can run through my mind is how great this evening is gonna be. I have rose petals, chocolate, strawberries. What more can a girl want? Like, yeah, this all me. This is all me. This is like two hours of work. I'm sexually attracted to Justin, and it's definitely a romantic setting to end a perfect day. Our cheers if we're gonna end off a good day and start off with five minutes. Oh, look how cute! And I match it. Nick set up a very romantic scene before the fire, and I gotta say, I'm falling for it. This is like my last time that I get to hang out with you. Until not. Before elimination. Yeah. I just think you're just the most ridiculous girl. I want to get a little sexy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my mind, I feel that I have expressed the most emotional connection with Sarah, and I express my fun side. So tonight, I set up an extra little date, and I really want to show her a sensual, romantic side of me. You like that? There's 
definitely some sexual tension between me and Nick. He's got the fire, he's kissing me, he's licking chocolate off my body. I just want to rip his clothes off. Before we say goodbye, Before we say girl, goodbye. let's give it one more try. Put away your foolish pride. Before we say goodbye. Justin is definitely putting his best foot forward tonight. He gives me some chocolate. He wrote me a letter. It's making my decision this much harder. I'm more than willing to give you my everything if you're open to the same thing. To walk out with you, my pet girl, <laughs> would be the best reward. There's a smile, I'll go. That's important. I don't ever, ever want to kiss another girl the way I kiss you. Why should I be with you and not Tim? I've gave you everything I could. I've gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I've gave you every answer you've ever asked for. I've put myself out there farther than I ever have in my life. I'm throwing myself out there. I'm throwing myself to you. I feel that Tim has a small chance to take Sarah from me but I'm hoping Sarah sees the true me because if she does, Sarah will want to be with me. I'm basing my decision tonight on everything that's happened in this house. I don't think that you're gonna find anybody better than me. <laughs> I haven't really got a chance to know you, Rose. I mean, you're one of the people that initially I was attracted to. Looks like you and Nick hit it off pretty good last night. I'm not ready for you to go home yet. You're my I want to see your bank statements. I won't do it. Send me home tomorrow. How about I send you home right now? Do whatever the f you want. It's actually my name. <laughs> I'm not going to stop fighting for you. I'm going to fight for you the whole way. I don't want you to go home. I know you don't. I've fought with both Tim and Nick, but there's one guy that I feel like I should be with. I've weighed out the pros and cons. Yeah. Looks like I'm doing All right. whatever you want me to do. And I like it, but I would much rather have been with you. I like you. I just don't really like hearing the frat boy crazy mess. Hey. You gonna break my phone? No, you're gonna do it. I know you have a crazy side, mm -hmm. but I also know you have this side. I just keep being me, and hopefully you like it, you know? Yeah. I'm a bad girl, like in real life. I don't really consider you a bad girl. I consider you a real ass chick. I think I've made my decision. It's not gonna be easy telling these guys because I'm gonna break somebody's heart. Tonight is the final elimination. I'm feeling pretty confident, because me and Kendra have been definitely growing a stronger and deeper connection with each other. I've been really confident throughout this whole experience. But now that it's here, I'm pretty nervous. I'll tell you this right now. Cosmos is not losing this war. I hope all my hard work has paid off, and I hope Kendra really sees that I really want to be with her. time and it's gonna be so hard. I honestly feel like I'm dating two guys. I feel like I have two different boyfriends and I'm about to break up with one of them. Justin is what I'm used to. I can see myself being very happy with him. Matt brings a certain energy that I haven't had in a very long time, but the decision has to be made. Matt, I don't know where to start with you. <laughs> You're crazy and all over the place, but in a good way. The one thing I know about you is that you're ready to accept me for who I am. But sometimes I feel like I get lost because all you want to talk about is who you are. Two crazy people do not equal a sane relationship. Sometimes I need a man to calm me down, not the other way around. Do you think that you can be my protector? Absolutely. 
I'm that person that's always gonna step in front and try to help someone, you know? Especially, especially if that person is someone I very much care about. And Kendra, you're someone I do care about. And no matter what the circumstances, who it is, what it is, I will be your guard. I will be your shield. Justin. From day one, I felt a certain comfort with you that was lacking with the other guys. I love your style, and you look good on my arm, and that's really important to me. <laughs> but sometimes, when you look at me, I feel like you're judging me and not completely accepting me, who I really am. You understand what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. For me, I don't feel I'm in a place to judge anybody. I accept you for who you are. All I can look at is Kendra, what I have, and just take you from there. I look at you honestly, and I feel something, I do. I'm shocked that I really care this strong for you, this fast. It's scary, but I want to make something happen with this. I wouldn't judge you in any type of way, ever. No clue what's gonna happen tonight. I'm nervous, I'm bitten all my nails off, and I just want to know who she wants to be with. My stomach is in my throat. I could lose Sarah forever or gain possibly a perfect connection. Look, I wish you the worst of luck. Yeah, you too. things that I love about both these guys and there are things that I'm really not sure about but I also know that I'm gonna end up leaving tonight with the guy I want to be with. Tim, we have shared some amazing times together. The connection that we made on our first date was undeniable and I'm so attracted to you but there's something about you that I don't completely trust. And as much as you say the opposite, I'm scared that you might break my heart. So, Tim, are you gonna break my heart? Not, not at all. I, I cannot wait to walk out of here to start a future with you. I'm here to be 100% genuine and true to you and, and make you the happiest person I can possibly make you. Nick, the physical connection is definitely there. But the maturity, sometimes I'm not so sure. It takes more than a physical connection for a good relationship. Nick, are you serious enough to handle a woman like me? More than you know. I tell you secrets. I can confide in you in anything. And I wanted to start a relationship off from the beginning with trust. And it's never gonna stop. I, I know you see that, and I know it's so much more than a physical connection. So much more. All I'm asking for is a chance. The one for me is Fall in your face. 84! <laughs> Ain't a thing in between my leg got in the way when I did my. Yeah. Hey, let's not lie. We've all seen it, Tim. Yeah. Hey, it might have hey. been cold that day. It might have been cold that day. Come on. This decision is hard, but it has to be made. This person is going to start something new with me. The one for me is Matt. <laughs> wow. I feel 
goes crazy wild Matt because he's so genuine and he really does care about me. He's fun and exciting. He's gonna bring a new element to my life. I'm happy to be with him. I'm so happy right now. I have lost every competition, but I have the biggest trophy of the house, and that's Kendra. I'm shocked right now. I can't believe Kendra would pick Cosmo over me. Woo! <laughs> no, fun. It's really hard to say goodbye to Justin. Whether or not I picked him, he's still my friend. And I hope that we can still stay in contact, but he's just not the one for me right now. I'm not gonna lie, it does hurt to watch Kendra walk away with Cosmo. Ready? Let's do it. This is probably the hardest decision I've had to make. The guy that I'm choosing to be with lets me be myself around him. He accepts me, and he cares about me, and he'll do anything he can to make me happy. The one for me is Nick. I'm so happy. Nick loves it when I'm being myself. And you can't trade that for all the money that Tim has. I just want to grab you. There's nothing that can take me off of cloud nine right now. Are you kidding me? The whole way this whole conversation just went, I thought I had it in the bag. I thought I won this. But Sarah told me from day one, I'm not her type. Blonde hair, blue eyes, that's not her thing. She thinks I'm absolutely gorgeous, but it's just not her thing. Congratulations. I got my girl now. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's this about? <laughs> you so good. Oh, how you doing? Sarah Kendrick, it's now down to you two girls and the two men you chose. But if you haven't figured it out yet, we're looking for one couple. What? Are you serious right now? <laughs> I'm definitely shocked. I thought the game was over. Good old Brett tells us there's another twist. Good God, what's about to happen next? I brought my own little tiebreaker. <laughs> so regardless of what's happened in the past, tonight I'm here as your friend. We brought Amber back to pick the winner of Love Games. Now there can only be one winner. Amber knows who has the deepest connection as a couple and who should win the competition. Amber is a good choice for our tiebreaker because she's been here the whole time and she's really seen what we've been through. She knows Kendra and I really well. She knows these guys really well. I don't think we could have picked a better judge. So let's see what Amber has to say. I think I've made a decision on who has the stronger connection. Congratulations, guys. All right, you can kiss her. Oh, my god. I got my man. I don't know what else I could ask for. All right, Sarah, Nick, give me your attention for a second. I'm here right? for porn. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> settle down. It sucks that Matt and I didn't win, but 
Sarah seems very happy, and I'm happy for her. Yes, it was a competition, but she is my friend, and I wish her nothing but the best. Sarah and Nick, congratulations. Thank you. You guys, you won yourself an all expenses paid dream vacation for two to kick your relationship off right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another challenge loss. Are you serious? Well, whatever. Because the only thing I was here to win was Kendra, and that's what I did. I get to walk away with the girl that I've wanted to be with. She's beautiful. She's a little crazy, which I like. And overall, I think she's wonderful. <laughs> Guys, so here's your limo. Come have a great trip. I'm really, really excited the way everything turned out. We started off with three girls and 13 guys, and we ended with one guy, one girl, and a real connection. Thank you, Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a threesome. <laughs> definitely been crazy. We've had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of really good times. Some drunk at night. Are you going to sit here and swear at me? Because if you are, you can leave. This is you guys. Tears, laughter, and friendship. Set. No. Ready? <laughs> I think Sarah and Nick are a great couple. They just seem meant for each other. Have fun, guys. Later, boys and girls. You know what? We don't need that stinking trip. Mm -hmm. We're the best couple in this house. We do know this, all right? Mm -hmm. You're better than any trip back you ever go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Nick. Being here and being in this competition is one of the greatest achievements of my life. This is the first time a fairy tale would ever happen to a bad boy, but you can make your own ending sometimes. I do. Freaking <laughs> You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. Oh, I need <laughs> to find out, girl. I never thought it was possible for a bad girl to really find love. But I guess it is. I'm so horny. Damn. That's your next challenge. Figure out how to get this dress. I can figure. I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> no!